Today is the day. Our youngest son moves into his college dorm today. Oh, I'm quiet because we're I'm standing in the rental house that we're staying at while we prepare to get him ready to move into his dorm. And this day, oh, my heart is so full, it keeps leaking out my eyes. Wow. What a challenging stage in parenting. What an amazing day for a homeschooler that this is the son that didn't read till he was 10. This is the son that has almost crippling dyslexia. This is the son that couldn't sit still, that I had to teach him to crochet so that he wouldn't drive everybody crazy. And I'm in the dark rental. It's dark because everybody's sleeping. And I'm surrounded by all of the stuff that we got for him for his dorm. And my, I, I'm not quite sure how to process all of this. You know, we've got snacks, we've got disinfectant wipes, we've got the Swiffer, he's got new pillows and rolling carts. And I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna navigate this day without crying like a baby. I, I wanna encourage you that if you're at that stage in homeschool, where you're looking at your kids and you're thinking, how am I going to do this? How am I going to help them? How am I going to help them succeed? How am I going to teach them to read? How am I going to teach them to write? Because they can't, they can't even process information. How am I going to teach them to do anything because they can't sit still? I want to encourage you to lean into whatever stage that you're at with your kids. And remember that if you're in that stage of teaching somewhere between they can read a little bit just a little bit like kindergarten there's somewhere between there and the launching stage i want to encourage you to lean in to your kids to lean into whatever it is that delights them and to attach academics to it so that they fall in love with learning at my son we've been at at the college for a day now and he was talking to one of his incoming dormies and his dorm mate was sharing that one of his classes is going to be public speaking our son our homeschooled son looked at him and said come to me i can help you because he took a public speaking class in college last year and ended up winning awards because of his visuals and his introductions and his hooks and just the way that he delivered speeches. And I was standing back looking at this homeschooler, our son, through the lens of some of the ridiculous comments that people add into my home, uh, my homeschool short videos specifically. <laughs> They're always saying that the comment this morning was homeschool. That's, a, that's the, the best way to ensure that your kids are bullied all the way through college and to be a failure. And I'm like, what rock did you grow up under? That's not what happens to homeschool kids when they're given the opportunities to lean into what they love, when they're taught to love to learn. I was telling my son yesterday that, you know, remember, you know, your job here on campus is to be an expert help seeker find your professor's offices so that you can go to their office hours, ask for help, introduce yourself long before you need help, become that squeaky wheel. And I'm looking at him going, you're gonna rock it, kid. You're gonna do so good at this next level of university. So why am I talking to you today? I wanted to come out here and let you know that even though your kids are gonna rock life because you're doing the best that you know how right you're you're equipping them in the best way it's still hard this leg of the journey uh, we've we were so busy up until a week ago we're still really busy we're still really busy we're so busy my brain hasn't processed that my youngest son is not gonna come home with us when we leave tomorrow and i my heart is just not ready to not have his smiling face and his helping hands and his quirkiness all around. And yet I'm so confident that he's going to rock this next leg in life. And I can't wait to see what he does. And the kids that he is going to be rubbing elbows with 
are blessed to be around him. He's, he was saying yesterday, he's so excited because he was, he was walking. He's on the rowing team. Of course, if you follow me, you know that. And he was talking to some of the crewmates and they were like, where did you go to high school? What did you do? And they found out that he was dual enrolled. That means that he earned his associate's degree and his friends, his new friends kind of freaked out a little bit. What? You're one of those really smart people. And Stephen's like, no, he goes, but I can help you. I can. And I, we were chatting about how cool it is that he has the opportunity to now come alongside and to help them learn how to do things like deal with their syllabuses and plan out their classes. And this is all from the perspective of somebody that didn't read till they were 10, that still has issues with <laughs> You all, okay, he still has issues with reading sometimes or pronouncing things. One of my favorite quirks about raising a reader is that they read words and they understand them, but they don't know how to pronounce them. So he was giving us directions on the way home, on the way down here as we were driving and we were going through San Francisco and he was like, okay, up here, we're going to make a left right before we get to San San Joan, San Joe's, and we're like, San Joe's, San Joe's, go, buddy, how do you spell that? He's like, San, J-O-S-E, and we busted up like a San, <laughs> San Jose, <laughs> he's like, oh, the joys of raising a reader, hang in there with your kids that are delayed readers, with your kids that are delayed writers, with your kids that don't quite get the concepts that you're trying to teach them today. Keep leaning into it. Don't give up. Keep keep finding ways to make it creative and fun. They may not end up at university, but they will end up ahead of their peers. You know, you you know, homeschoolers, we mix our kids with ages and stages of life all day long, and they they end up at the end of the race with an unfair advantage. And it's a it's a beautiful gift to be able to give your kids after they've gone through the foundation stage, then they've made it through this flourishing and fun stage where they just fall in love with learning. And then to be where I'm at with my son, where we're in the launching stage and we get to see him rock it. It's such, it feels like such a triumph. So by the time you're watching this, I will have already hugged him goodbye and I will be on the other side of this. Um, I hope that if you have any questions, know that in the comments, I'm linking to our free masterclass, The Three Stages of Homeschool. And I am so excited to be able to help you walk through the stages of homeschool yourself. But I wanted to share because today is actually the day. I'm standing in this amazing rental that we got up at the last minute and it ends up being cheaper than a hotel room and it's unbelievable. And my heart is beating faster. I know I'm going to hug him soon and I can't wait to let you know how it all goes.